Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Cardigan Show. I've been away for quite some time because I've been trying, I've been training for an Ironman. If you don't know, an Ironman is a 2.4 mile swim, a 112 mile bike ride, and a 26 mile run. I did it in 14 hours. That's a pretty average amateur time, something to be proud of. Uh, that's exactly the time I thought I could do it in. Uh, but now, I'm gonna let you know how you can run an Ironman, Cardigan Show style. Come back. If you thought training for an Ironman was a lot of swimming, bicycling, and running, uh, you'd be right. Like a lot of it. Two to three hours a day, minimum. But since I can't show you all that footage in one video, I'm going to compress it into a workout montage. For their efforts to change who they are, and who they will become. Those who race Iron Man, they want the journey to mean something. You weren't even running. I can, I can edit this out. Let's get down to something serious. Nutrition. Your stomach is one of your greatest enemies in a race. Now since the bike ride is the longest portion of the race, that's where you have to stock up on carbs and liquids. But you can't eat a lot since your body is constantly working. So you have to drink it. Even as an amateur, you're gonna need about 1800 calories. And to do that, you're gonna need Carb Pro. Carb Pro! With Carb Pro, Carb Pro. you're gonna need about nine scoops. Nine scoops come up to about here on your water bottle. And then you're gonna want to add some Gatorade so it tastes better. Because this stuff tastes horrible. Ooh. Doesn't that look smooth as melted unicorn farts? I hope you found that funny because I didn't have anything else clever for this small segment. It kinda drags on for a little bit. Yeah. And that's your full amount of calories on the bike ride. And let me tell you, it takes an iron stomach to keep it down. And I did not do a very good job of that. When you're done, you're also gonna need protein powder. Awesome, I love protein. I know you love protein, I love protein too. Yeah, protein rocks. Are you guys talking about protein? I love protein. Now after a few months of training, you're gonna start to notice a few differences with your body. For instance, your body becomes very good at sweating. Like, really good. Your body feels any sort of activity, it thinks it's go time, it starts producing sweat to cool you down. Next, you'll notice your testosterone levels spiking. And as an English major who's never been known as a man's man, uh, this was different for me. Did I mention that you're hungry all the time? Like, I'm gonna go get a snack. And now you'll begin to notice that your feet get hot when you're wearing shoes. But that, that one might just be me. Don't write that one down. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you train. But why'd you do it? Why what? Why'd you run the Iron Man? Well, I've been reading a lot of philosophy lately, and I... Oh boy. I think it has a lot to do with challenging yourself as a man, and how there's no real distinction between boy and man in today's society, and that we have to create that for ourselves. And I think challenging yourself is really good, and the perception of doing something impossible, or at least people think it's impossible, it really just takes a lot of hard work, dedication, and a lot of hours. You did it to impress chicks, didn't you? Yeah, yeah I did. And how's that working out for you? Hey, how'd you go to the restroom on the bike? 
Well, there's a lot of porter potties along the way. Yeah, and? Well, you can't stop because you might quit if you stop. And it slows you down a lot. So I peed myself on the bike. How was that? Just a lot of warm water just going down your leg and settling in your shoe. It's real, real nice. It's real pleasant. How did the run go? Well, I didn't drink enough water and enough liquids on the run, so I vomited twice. That's what slowed me down a lot. So would you recommend an Ironman? Not saying the Iron Man's a lot of fun, and it's not a party. It is a lot of work, and uh, you get to really know your body really well. It's not for everyone. So uh, here's that. Thank you, thank you so much for watching, and thank you to all the people who say congratulations and great job. I really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you also to my parents and to my brother my fellow athletes who helped me through this ordeal. It's definitely an ordeal. I could not have done it by myself. It was a life-changing experience. And uh, for all the new people who I've met in the past couple months, uh, welcome to the Cardigan Show. This is season two. No one knew these things were gonna have seasons when I started. <laughs>